What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Shy Mai. And um, today I got a couple new tricks for you. One being the um, rain sensitivity for the sunroof. And the other one being, um, so if you guys go to car settings now, let's say you go into vehicle settings, scroll all the way down to where it says climate functions, click that. At the bottom there where it says um, seat and surface climate control, you may not have that, may say something different. Um, but anyways, click on that. Now we have um, driver, front passenger, rear left and right, uh, rear right. Um, if, but we're concentrating on driver. So if you go into driver and you go down to, um, well, in this case, you won't have it yet. But what we will um, add in this case is the automatic activation of the seat heating the um, seat um, cooling and the steering wheel heating. So the way it's set is right now, it's the outside temperature is below 47. It will activate the seat um, cool um, heating. And the same thing with the steering wheel, I can change it again to whatever you prefer. But if you uh, if it's below that temperature, it'll activate it. And the same thing with the seat ventilation. So if it, if it becomes above 77, then the seat ventilation will come on automatically. And the way that we do that, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the expert mode of the head unit. The first thing we're gonna do is type in, at the, in the search box, R-E-G-E, -E, and it should bring up this as the only option. Go ahead and click that, turn that to active. Go ahead and go back. While we're here, go ahead and erase that and type in the top A K T. So the first one is the auto um, sunroof. Since um, that is turned to active, I mean, I, I'm sorry, I said sunroof. The um, steering wheel heating that one is turned to active. This is the seats. I have it on, I assume, heating and cooling. Probably need to check that, but it looks intuitive enough. And then the same thing from the front. Um, I have it set to that. Go ahead and code that. I can't because I already have it coded. Once you finish that, let's go ahead and back out of that and go into the body domain controller. And while that is loaded up, I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to make a video on some of the BC coding that can be done. Uh, it's not a lot in this car, but uh, one of the cool features that you could do right now is you can change this from charge to battery. It's pretty intuitive. If you go into the um, instrument cluster uh, of the um, Beamer code and search BC, um, you should see something there with battery. Uh, if you go in there and just play around inside, uh, select different... Um, options i think it's like four options that could be selected and um you'll see diff what it, the differences that it do um if you play with some of the other bc stuff in there you'll 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 definitely uh, mess up some stuff because some of the stuff can't be um configured but you could just go back and do a backup but at least you can play around with it and see what changes like it has different um graphics let's say for um this right here and i think this one is also no, that's the um Let's see, I think that is displayed different too. But um, one of the things, this is in um, eco mode, so it actually has that, that menu I just swapped it through. And um, while I'm, uh, one of the things I wanted to point out is um, this right here is um, never correct with the actual um, speed. And um, there is a correction, correct door for um, older models. I haven't been able to find it in this one. But I assume it is um, one near two, um, so I'm not sure. Um, but it isn't. If you add that there, it isn't the um, correct speed. It's usually about a mile or two miles per hour slower. Okay, so we got that up. Um, I wanted to show you guys another thing. I had you guys put the compass up before in the um, in one of the, in the head unit. Uh, one of the videos. Um, I want to show you guys where that actually is. So if you go to um, uh, maps, let's say, if you slide that little bar over, uh, it should bring up, uh, if you hold it down, if you click it anyways, it should, and scroll through the different options, 
map facing north arrow display that one right there should bring up the compass and if you go down to the position one it'll bring uh arrow just uh, yeah the position one it'll actually bring up the compass but with also where you actually are um so again it's pretty cool but that's how you actually bring it up um it's been there for some cars but um like i said let's go back into the um body domain controller and we're going to go ahead into the expert mode and in here we're going to also search but we're going to search l h z so the main thing concerned here with is the ccm um i kf we're going to turn that to active We're gonna go ahead and search again, IKF. Here we want the IKF enabled, and the same thing, we want all the seats on. So I assume that this is the front seats and this is the rear seats, but again, I don't know. If you play around with it, you'll find out before I do. But I assume that that's maybe one of them, and obviously the top option being not active. So let's go ahead and code those. And once we code those, those um, features should show up in your iDrive as well as um, the um, rain sensitivity um, should also uh, be set down for your sunroof. Uh, if you guys like the video, man, go ahead and click like and um, subscribe. And like I said, if you guys find anything that you think you want to code in your car, I have a question of what you need, to, uh, uh, if it could be coded, go ahead and drop me a comment and um, I'll, I'll research it for you. If it could be done, we're going to find out how to do it, man. I appreciate the love.